Well, that's exciting. As I'm getting ready to do my interview here on the way to pulling cards, I got a spike buck on the side of the road. I just went past a pile of deer feeding in some fields and just had a doe and two fawns walk across the road in front of me. We had this monster cold front come through yesterday. Literally, it dropped like 18 degrees overnight with a cold front. It was 39 yesterday morning, which is the first time that it's been under uh, even 50. And that was a huge drop. And then this morning, it's only 43. So I have a feeling pulling my cards today, I'm gonna see a lot of movement in the last 24 hours. That gets me excited with season starting in a week. I've got 12 cameras out, uh, two cell cameras, but 10 other cameras that have SD cards that I plan to check today. So all told from leaving the house to getting back, I got about 78 miles to drive today. Uh, the 10 cameras, it's gonna take about nine and a half miles hiking today. Brought some lunch and I'm hoping my legs and my knees are gonna make it all day long. I just got to the first stop this morning. I've got all my SD cards. I've got all my keys for my cameras. Got my climbing stick to be able to get up to about seven, seven and a half feet where my cameras are. And I always bring spray along with me. And as I get close to any of the stands, I spray my boots and my pants down. And I spray my hands before I go into any area where there's a camera and touch that camera and pull an SD card. Just trying to minimize scent as much as I possibly can. But when you got SD cards, you don't have a choice but get in there and check them real quick. Uh, these have been soaking for about six weeks, uh, some of them two months, so I'm excited to get in here today and see what I got. This is my first camera of the day. It's the first of two cameras on this property on this first stop. Got a great pine mock scrape right here in front of the camera, so I'm excited to get the stick up and take a look and see what I have for pictures. Check batteries to see if they need to be replaced. Okay. That's not the start you want from your morning, checking 10 SD cards and walking over nine miles. I went to check my first camera right there, and it was still on test mode. It had sat for four weeks on test mode. I didn't even put it on picture mode. Rookie mistake, dummy. at my second location now. Um, first location is definitely interesting. Yeah, <laughs> first card I went to pull. They'd never turned the damn thing on last time I was in there a month ago. I don't know how I missed it, but stupid rookie mistake. Uh, the second card I pulled looked pretty promising. Um, there was a little bit of action in the grapevine mock scrape. Uh, that camera that I pulled right there does not have a screen, so I don't know how many pictures were on there. So. Well, this next piece of property right here, I've only got one camera here. It's pretty close to the road, but I'm going to pop down to two places. We saw some huge scrapes last year. Just kind of walk through that area real quick and see if there's anything fresh going on there. Okay, this next camera is an old one too, so I have no viewing screen. Batteries were dead. Who knows how long that was? So, replace the batteries, change the SD card, and I'm off to check a couple of places. We saw some real nice scrapes when we were out in March. Just came from that shag bark stand that I was at, walking away from the clear cut down towards these mature oaks. I came across this fresh rub here. That thing's only a couple weeks old. They just keep getting better and better. Talk about super fresh. Look how white that one is. What's really cool? Let's look at all the shavings on the ground. That thing was just made couple of days. Well, that's cool right there. I'm not 40 yards from the last one. Just found another fresh rub within the last couple of weeks. Pretty awesome. So this is the second fresh scrape I found in about 60 yards area. Red pines and a lot of undergrowth. Real difficult to put tree stands up in here but somehow I'm gonna have to find a way to 
see if I can hunt the edge because this is only about 200 yards away from the clear cut. This is a spot that I've got marked as a possible tree stand. I got two fresh rubs right there. And I got some deer that have been working in scrape here. I got some hoof prints in there. I got some poop in there. Got some white oaks. Got some red oaks over here. This is going to be a great place. I think this is a community scrape. I'm definitely going to come back and check on this. You know, here in another three, four weeks, middle of October. So I'm pretty psyched. I just walked down from that clear cut into this hemlock and mature oak forest. And I've got two or three trees in here. They're all beat up. And I got what I thought was a community scrape last year that is already getting hit. So that's pretty awesome. I got fresh poop here. It definitely been in here, so I need to get a camera down here. We just found a huge, huge scrape. I mean, like, go stand in that, man. Holy moly. That thing's three and a half, four feet across. Six. Six feet across? <laughs> At least. Oh, my. That is sweet. And a pup just found a shed right here. We just followed a trail up. All sorts of trees torn up fresh rubs might be a place to think about putting a stand. So I've got this nice hemlock picked out with some beech leaves that I can kind of hide right in right there. We've got a scrape down here. Got a scrape right here. And as I come up, I get a big community scrape right up in here. Definitely a place I'm going to bring a camera in. Definitely a place I'm going to come sit. Another tree that got hit right here. Right now I'm trying to find the best path to get back out of here to be able to figure out what's the best entrance to get in here. There's a bed right here, a deer that was laying here at some point in the last couple of days. A little marsh right next to this hardwood forest. So on the way to check my fourth camera, I stopped and uh, knocked on a door of a landowner and asked if they gave hunters permission uh, to go ahead and track deer if a deer was shot and then it wandered onto their property as you were tracking. And uh, I got a hard no. So I don't know, I'm kind of almost changing gears here. One of my real strong stands, I'm second guessing whether or not I'm going to hunt it or not because it is within... 40 yards of a property boundary and the last thing I want to do is put all the time and effort into shooting an animal and then hurting it, killing it, having it go on to the next door neighbor's property and then not having permission to go and retrieve that deer. So I'd be interested in the comments to see what you guys think whether or not you know you would hunt that close to a property knowing that the landowner would not allow you uh, to step onto his property to go ahead and retrieve a deer that you had shot during archery season. It's amazing how just a little bit of deadfall with some fresh leaves provides a great cover for deer to lay down in bed. I was within probably two yards of that fawn before she jumped up. She had no clue what I was because I was behind that brush and she only ran about 20 yards and she's still staring at me as I walk away. I decided to pull the camera that was very close to the property where the landowner said that I would not be allowed to retrieve a deer if I had shot one and it went in his property. And I'm actually bringing that camera back to the place I just was at with the three scrapes. And I'm gonna leave it there um, for about two weeks and first or second week of archery, I'll come back in here after work one night and uh, kind of do an observation sit and uh, pull the card for that camera that night see what I got. Hopefully I got some buck as big as the ones I had on the property where I can't retrieve a deer. That sucks, but it's the way it is when you're hunting public land. Take the good with the bad and make the most of it. Well, 
I stopped and had some lunch, got some water. I've got four down, got another six or seven to go. So I'm heading back out to an area right here that I'm about a mile in, but I've got three cameras on three different sides of a clear cut. So I'm gonna go in and check these out and uh, see what's on these cameras. It took a while to get in here. It's about a mile walk, but I'm on my third camera checking. They're all within about three quarters of a mile of each other that all surround a clear cut. Uh, there's a grapevine mock scrape right up next to that shag bar hickory, and then a trail that comes right underneath that. And then this trail is real heavy and goes all the way up into some hay fields about 300 yards away. And there we go, I got my third camera. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this SD card changed, get back up to the truck. I got one more piece of public to check that has two cards on it, and then I got two cards on private but I can ride the buggy in up there. Almost done. section on public land. I've got a cell cam in here and uh, I've just got a regular camera with an SD card. I'm not going in, I'm not going to disrupt where the cell cam is. I'm getting those pictures every day and I got a great buy mock scrape in there and there's been deer in there hitting it every day. So I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to go grab my actually camera and SD card and I'm going to put this camera in my backpack and I'm going to have it as a spare for somewhere that I walk over the next couple of weeks and just find a ton of sign and some community scrapes and that way I've got one in my backpack just to throw up. Okay, here we go. Last one and then I'm going to head over to the private farm and get my couple of cameras over there. is one of these spots on this last piece of public I'm on today that I'd really like to try and find a, a tree. There's a swamp there at the end of that. We're right against the swamp right here. And then this trail continues up to an area that's got a lot of mature oaks intermixed with all these hemlocks. So Let's see if we can mark something on the way out and possibly come back to it in October. I'm really hoping to find a scrape right now and uh, try and set up over that now or at least have an idea where to put a tree stand for later in October. I made it out to the farm. This is the first of my two cameras out here on the farm. 
We got a nice ladder with a hang on stand here. Got a grapevine mock scrape. And I'm gonna be setting up a horizontal rub here and uh, an area that's cleared out for them. And I uh, got a water hole right over here for them. This is a great area right here. It's a transition between a couple feeding areas and a couple bedding areas. And uh, I won't be back in here again until rut. So one card changed here on the farm. I gotta go hit the other one. I'm going to leave the farm here in about two minutes. It's five o'clock. I'm going to get home at 5.30, 12 hours. But I got everything done I want to get done today. Got all my SD cards changed. And the next time I'll be in a tree stand, I'll be hunting. Leaving the farm, heading home. This is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hope you guys have a great season, and we'll talk to you soon. See you. Kill a bug.